Good afternoon from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landis. Today on CBS 19 News at 5 and 6, we're highlighting some of the races and issues on tomorrow's ballot. Everything from the governor's race to the area alcohol elections. And of course, the focus on the control of the U.S. Senate. Help is on the way from Texas to West Africa. More Fort Hood soldiers are deploying to combat the Ebola crisis. The 1st Medical Brigade at First Hood, at Fort Hood rather, held a deployment ceremony this morning. 22 service members were honored as they prepared to leave for the mission. They're joining more than 3,000 U.S. troops helping to contain the Ebola outbreak. East Texans love their high school football, and they hate seeing players injured. And that said, there's a lot of interest in a new football helmet. It's being tested in our state. It has special sensors inside that allow monitoring for potential concussion in a player. We'll show you where they're trying it out and how it works. Gas prices are at the lowest level in nearly four years. Even better news, analysts say they will likely keep on falling. AAA reports the price at the pump dropped 33 cents in October, saving Americans $250 million a day. The national average for a gallon of regular gas is now just $2.99. And an unintended consequence of those low prices, the sales of big gas-guzzling SUVs on the rise. Buyers apparently wanting all that room and luxury as well as so they can fill up under 80 bucks a pop. Save money where you can. Yeah. All that coming up tonight on CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.